Wow! Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night and a great week. Your love is responsible for its actions. Everything you think, everything you do has a consequence, and you're going to experience the consequences of your actions in one way or another. All human beings are completely responsible for their actions, even if they don't want to be. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 345, Nasdaq's up 108, S&P's off 34. Gold, gold contract down $10.70, trading at 1916 an ounce. We have, sil uh, yeah, we have silver down 48 cents, $22.91 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 22 cents, 72 dollars, one penny a barrel. Notes and bonds. Ten-year note down 24 ticks, trading 110.19. The 30-year is off a full point, plus seven ticks at 124.01. And King dollar, King dollar is down 229 ticks, trading out at 103.144. The euro is 108. The yen is 144, and the British pound is at 127 to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you heard the update. We've got an ABC structure intraday on the way up, and a couple of targets are wondering where it is. So you got to do this. On, I use 10-minute bars, and bottom line is that I've been, well, I've been using them forever. Um, you had two different things happen out here today, which is pretty cool. Down at the lows... If you basically, I was talking about last week how you do the correlation between the DAX and our futures period, okay? So the bottom line is that, you know, even before the open, it looks to me like the futures were going to go down to about 50, okay? We got 60. That being said, that bottom line, you can see the last time there was any selling on the way down in the futures was 44.35, and we went to 44.19, okay? So then on the way back up, what you had, you almost had an ABC structure on the way back up at uh, 1250. 1250, we did 19,000 contracts, and that was taken out uh, 24. But, and at the beginning of that run there, okay, the bottom line looked like it was going to have it, uh, make it, but it didn't. It pulled back, it pulled back with uh, 14,000 light volume, then big Ming, it took it out. 24,000, taken out the 17,000, that's where I'm getting that number of uh, 4470. Now, let's go over to the NQs. I didn't do the NQs yet because I'm trading the S&Ps, but let's go. I always look at both of them, okay? So we go into this one, pull this back. Okay, so you needed 67, and you got 72. So it's the, it's the same. It's, there's another ABC structure inside the NQs, too. So you get 15,239 is your B, it's a straight line move, which is pretty wild, 15,113 is your A, so you get 126 A to B, and yeah, it's up here, so plus your C is 15,212, 15,211 rather. That's 15,337, that'd be a trip, 15,000. 337. You want to remember this also, though, um, going into tomorrow, if we don't get it today. Then do the Qs, because you have harmony here. Harmony in the marketplace is here, meaning that this, this you know, there's still buyers here. This is a, okay, so let's see. We needed 546,000. Yeah, and it had 615. So, if you're trading the Qs here, this is how this goes. 367.60, 367.60, your B, your A here is 364.57, so we get a 293. Your C is uh, plus 366.93, 366.63. Uh, Ninety-three. What did I say the A to B was? Damn. Hang on a second. Three sixty-six eighty-three. Uh, I gotta do it again. Sorry. Three sixty-seven. Not like doing this on the fly, right? Minus. 
Plus 3663 plus 3663. This 369, 369, QQQ equals 369.93. Bingo. It's going to be a trip. So if we, if we take a look at the Qs, the way the Qs are set up, you can see that, you know, the, the, the gap in the Qs is 364.89. We went to 364.52. You had volume there, 46 million and 52 million, and you're going to go into it with, well, we're going to go into about 50 million. But you're going to, it looks to me like you're going to get a rejection of lower price. You're going to have lighter volume, all of the above. That means higher we still go. We're going to take a look at the uh, gold contract. Gold contract right now, you're down 10 bucks. You're trading two with 221,000 contracts. That's coming into 205. I'm glad it didn't hit the bottom of that. I can tell you that. Uh, we only hit we hit 1908 and rejected 1908 or 1916. And then if you go over to the dollar, now see this is when you you put a few things together, folks. Okay, because you had the market down good, you know. But the bottom line is that the dollar had already given it up on price, you know, before we even opened. You know, the dollar had hit a high of 103.572, but guess what, man? It couldn't hold price, so. You want to always pay attention to that, you know, if you're basically intraday trading. You can see the last time that we were up there, it couldn't hold price at the 103, 543. Couldn't hold price up there today at a lower 103, 572. That's saying that, guess what, the lower part of the swing area, that's where it wants to go. We got to take a look at the 10-year. The bottom line is the 10-year. We had a high today, uh, a low today of uh, 110.05, and this one you know, that went down to the very, I think it basically bro it broke every swing. Yeah, it did. So this guy get back inside 110.27. That's how this shakes out. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back with our man, Mr. Tim Ward. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 359. NASDAQ's up 118. S&Ps are up 37. We're coming right back. <laughs> 